This video is to make some stretcher bond pen blanks. This is what they look like uh, finished on a Lucida pen kit. Okay, this is a piece of rock maple. Um, what we'll do is we'll cut the blanks from here. Now, we want to end up with a pen blank which is 20 mils by 20 mils and we're gonna split it that way so we can put the veneer in there and create the contrasting. I'll make it a bit larger than what I need so what I'll do is I'll do the first cut at um, we want a 20 mil by 20 mil blank so rather than 10 mils we'll make that 12 mils there and the next cut 12 mils and we'll rip it down that way and then what we'll do is we'll glue in this piece and once that piece is glued in we'll then rip it down this side and then hopefully have 12 by 12 there now the actual board itself is 28 mils so that should be plenty um, oh, here we go I'm just gonna rip it up What we've done now is we've cut this. This side is joint has been plane straight. So what I do, what I'll do is we've got the uh, we've got the saw blade marks there. So what I'll do is I'll just pass that through the joiner and straighten that up. And rather than glue it back together that way, once that is uh, flat, I'll then glue these two pieces. It just saves on sanding. Okay, I've just joined that that edge uh, flat. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll now rip another 12 mils off that. Okay. So we've now got these two pieces. And what I'll do is I'll just put a piece of veneer in the middle and then just uh, glue the two pieces in. As you can see the board is... Uh, there we go. And we just glue the two pieces together with the flat edge against each other. Now this is just a piece of walnut veneer. Um, it's a piece of scrap piece that I scored in a, in a little packet. What I'll do is, the length of this is, is about 900 mils. So what I'll do is I'll just mark that out, trim that there, and that way we'll, we'll glue them up in two pieces. Um, and then I'll just cut two strips of this veneer. Okay, so we've got the blanks here, and this is the, um, the veneer strip. What I'll do is now just apply a bit of glue. Spread it. Actually, like us on Facebook so I can make more videos. Spread it nice and evenly. I want to be nice and generous with the glue. I'm just using a bit of tight bond. Three. Okay, so that's it. Put the first layer on. In the next, now we're clamping the two. We're clamping the. Uh... Okay, sorry, the uh, the film footage stopped halfway through there. The camera ran out of batteries, but here we are the next morning. Sat in the uh, the clamps overnight. <clears throat> now, as you can see, the veneer's glued in place. So what I'll do now is, I'll put this through the joiner, straighten up that edge and then put it through the table saw and cut it to 23 mils. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to rip down that side at uh, 23 mils. So we 
we're just gonna split it down the center there so we can make a cross. Okay, so now we've ripped the the piece into two. What we'll do now is we'll slide the veneer in place right here. Okay, so now the uh, <clears throat> the blanks have come out of the clamp. What I'll do now is I'll just clean up this edge by putting it through the planer, and then we'll put it through the table saw and clean up this edge. So after trimming it, we end up with a blank like this. Now, after gluing, it looks like this. I've put it through the the table, the sorry, the drop saw, and that's what it looks like on the end grain. So it's nearly square. You don't have to be too accurate. We're going to turn it around anyway. What's important is where the two meet. Um, I just find that this method, you always end up with a nice, a nice. Uh, end grain where all the joints meet. So what we do now is we now trim them down to pen blanks. So what we've got to do is we've got to line that line up. And I've got a nine mil drill bit. I'm just taking it off nice and slow. Because we put it laminated together, if you're too aggressive with it and catch it, you lose it. Bust up and you've got to start from scratch. Okay, we haven't gone all the way through which is good, so what I'll do now is I'll start trimming them. Okay, what we're doing now is for us to cut this into little segments, what I'll do is we can cut them, like we can put a cross cut, uh, we've got the cross cut blade on, on the table saw. So and we can cut it this way. We can put the the sliding table fence in and cut them. You can do that if you've got a zero tolerance um, zero toler tolerance insert. Uh, that gets a bit dangerous and a bit messy. I've devised this this little uh, way of, of with using a jig and cutting it nice and safely so that uh, your fingers is out of the way. So what we'll do is we'll create a jig. Um, it's based on to cut the lids that I've got. When we cut lids for the boxes, what I do is I send it through the table saw. Hang on, I'll just clear all this out so I can demonstrate it. What happens is this goes on, on the table saw and what we do is pretend this is the lid that we want to cut to length. All we do is we send this through and we, we trim it that way, that way that cut is 90 degrees, slide it over and cut it again and that way that's 90 degrees. So what you ha end up having is with the box lids when you're mass producing them you don't have to measure the, the, right, um, the right lengths. So we'll do something similar for the 